Welcome back to Advice from Your Advocates. I'm Bob Manner. I'm a certified elder law attorney in Michigan. And this is a podcast where we focus on many issues relating to seniors and the aging industry and those that work with seniors. And so I'm really excited today. I think we have a really exciting topic to cover. Our guest is Jennifer Joyner, who works with the Valley Area Agency on Aging. She uh, works with the Silver Sneakers as an instructor, which we're going to learn more about the Silver Sneakers already. I'm excited by the the name of it, (laughs) which is an evidence-based Based disease exercise program to seniors. I love that description, evidence-based uh, disease exercise program. She's also a certified dementia practitioner, a diabetes path instructor, and a matter of balance coach. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So was that pretty accurate description? Do you have anything else to tell us about yourself before we start going through some of the questions I have for you? Yeah, that was um, pretty spot on. Uh, The silver sneakers um, were also, um, that's part of the arthritis um, exercise foundation. Oh, nice. So yeah, they go hand in hand with each other. And those are really, really popular and fun classes at a lot of our local senior centers that, uh, that many folks attend. Very nice. So before we get into that, tell me a little bit more about yourself. What drew you to this area? You know, it seems like you definitely have a passion for working with seniors and and working with fitness for seniors. What drew you to this area? Um, Yeah, so my passion kind of came when I was younger. Um, I lived in a small community real close with my family, and I kind of watched, or I did watch, my mom take care of her grandma And then my grandparents were right there too. So just a close knit community. And then to see, you know, we, where we grew up and that take care of each other and, and live long and as best as we can, but it does take a community to, you know, to, to prosper. So. Well, I appreciate that background. I've always told people that when I was born, my parents were a little older for at least for their generation, for um, how old they were when I was born. And I was the youngest and that they had a commitment to volunteer with uh, a local er- a local uh, group of uh, religious retired that they would often go and volunteer and help people out there. And of course, since I was the youngest, they dragged me along with all of that. So mm-hmm. I was exposed to, you know, older folks from a very early age and, and helping out. And I think that definitely has an influence on, you know, the, what you're interested in and what your passions are later in life. So that's a very um, a good you know, background for this type of thing. Uh, So tell us more. It sounds like maybe Silver Sneakers, if I'm getting this correct from what you just said, that's just a one part of the overall senior fitness that you deal with. So tell us a little bit more about Senior Sneakers and really more about the whole program that you have through the Valley Area Agency on Aging. Yeah. So our agency, we cover um, three counties. So Genesee, Shiawassee, and Lapeer County. And for with my particular position, I'm in the health and wellness department. And so I travel across the three counties to all of the, pretty much all of the senior centers and provide the arthritis exercise silver sneakers program. So a lot of folks with their insurance benefit have silver sneakers, Now, if they're not sure if they have it or not, we always encourage them to call the number on the back of their insurance card to see if that is part of their plan. And with with that plan, with being silver sneakers, um, they're able to come to any class. There is no fee for silver sneakers. And then also the arthritis exercise programs that we offer, there's no fee either. I didn't realize uh, until you just said it that that was actually a Medicare benefit or an insurance benefit. Uh, Yeah, I don't know that it's Medicare. Um, There's many different uh, insurance, like Blue Cross Blue Shield, a certain tier of it. Um, So I definitely encourage them to call the number to see if that's part of their plan. Um, Sometimes I think Humana might have a program similar to that. There's, um, I'm just trying to think of the folks that attend our class. Uh, Some of them will say that they have uh, silver sneakers and then there's a, um, another one silver and fit, I believe. Okay. 
really quote me on those exact words. But um, so with the silver sneakers, though, some of the gym, local gyms like Anytime Fitness, um, okay. some of the different rec centers in, in people's communities. Like I know I'm in Lapeer County and the um, community center here has a swimming silver sneakers class. Okay. Nice. Um, and with that benefit, the person does not have to be a member of that said gym. They can they can show their silver sneakers card or give them their, they, you know, there's a specific number that they'll have and they can attend that particular class because they are a silver sneakers member. Nice. That's, that's okay. great. So now are the ones that you um, are an instructor for, are those usually at senior centers or you do them all throughout the various areas that you mentioned? Yeah, they're um, usually at the local senior centers. And then depending on where there's a need, like there, we've done them at different churches, okay. um, the church communities, uh, but uh, we've got to have at least 10 people that are interested in wanting to be committed, say, for six weeks that they want to do this program for. Nice. Is it typically a six-week program or is it an ongoing program and it just has to be a minimum of six weeks? Uh, it depends on the location. So right now I teach an ongoing class at the Grand Blank Senior Center every Tuesday nice. and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, and then uh, at other centers... Um, depending on the volume of folks that are coming, uh, we'll, if, if it's a new, we haven't done it in a while there, then we'll plan it for six weeks. If we get a good turnout and, um, have that commitment from our seniors, then we look into making it an ongoing one. Great. Yeah. So now what if, uh, someone calls and for whatever reason they find out through their insurance, or maybe they have traditional Medicare and a supplement instead of the advantage program, and they would like to participate. Is there a way they can participate in with, uh, on, in your classes for a fee or something like that? Uh, there is no fee and, and I don't check their insurance. Um, okay. yeah, nope. They can, if they are interested in attending one of those exercise classes, they can call their local senior center. Okay, great. Find out what day and time the class is being offered and, and they can come. And um, I even say, you know, you don't have to participate. You can just come and be an observer and see yeah. if it's something that uh, you feel would fit for you. Especially maybe the first time if they're nervous about it, they can just come and watch and, you know, then uh, decide if they want to come back uh, and, and participate this next time. Well, that's good to know that there's no uh, cost to attend. So basically, the, the insurance benefit might be uh, so that if it's through a local gym, they don't have to have that gym membership. Is that the idea? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. So I know this is going to seem an, like an obvious question to you, but I don't know that everybody kind of thinks this through a lot. Um, and sometimes it's easy to neglect. So can you talk a little bit about the importance of physical activity and physical, um, you know, fitness for seniors uh, and having a senior wellness program? What are the benefits? Yeah. So the benefits are, um, well, strength for one. And then in our particular classes, um, especially coming out of the pandemic, the socialization aspect oh, of it is, is, sure. has been huge. You know, we were, we were isolated for so long and now people are uh, much more comfortable to be coming out to our classes and just out and about in general. Um, many of our seniors live alone and so this is an outlet for them to come and and to get some exercise. And if they're having trouble with their shoulders or having just difficulty from sitting too much, getting up out of their chair, then it's it's building that lower body strength so that they're able to to move about just in everyday activities. In my imagination, it might help with uh, fall risk, um, balance issues, maybe even uh, cognitive ability to have that that exercise. Sometimes that might stimulate some, you know, continued cognitive uh, or stave off some of the cognitive decline. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. The balance. And, and like you said, the cognitive, we've, um, through some of my trainings, through Silver Sneakers, we've incorporated coordination uh, with our steps and moving our legs as well as our arms. And then I try to incorporate asking folks, you know, think of the alphabet and what is your favorite letter or how many states are there while we're moving. Hmm. Um, 
And, and you can see the looks on some, some of our seniors faces, you know, many, uh, pretty much all of them enjoy it, but you can see, I've really got, I got to focus right now. I'm moving and I'm having to talk at the same time and, and think of these states. So it's, it's mind, body and pretty, and soul too. (laughs) Very nice. Yeah, that's great. So now we've talked about your geographic area is Genesee, Lapeer, Shiawassee. Uh, And for those that are from Michigan listening, that's going to be sort of uh, lower central Michigan, I guess we might call that. Um, Still maybe sort of northern southeastern Michigan, if you want to call it that, another way of saying it. But uh, it sounds like Silver Snakers is a program that exists uh, much more widely than just in our three county area here. Yes, I believe that's correct. Okay. And so would you know, would it typically be to contact the Area Agency on Aging to find uh, if they are outside of this region and they're interested in finding something like this, would it usually be to contact the Area Agency on Aging? Yes, I would encourage if they're looking for, you know, for the senior centers, um, definitely Mm -hmm. their Area Agency on Aging. Um, If they're looking for more of like a fitness center to maybe look to call their in, the number on the back of their insurance card or to do a, a search um, for silver sneakers and, and in the area that they're at to see if there's anything local that pulls up for them with that. So for those listeners that don't know, Area Agency on Aging is a very well-established, uh, you know, and pretty much I know everywhere in Michigan is covered by an Area Agency on Aging. I think it's actually nationwide. That's more of a uh, a program that's accepted uh, throughout the country. Yes. And so no matter where you are, you're probably uh, that you have access to an Area Agency on Aging and they have a variety of services that can uh, help seniors and, and uh, each one might have have a different set that they work on, but um, there's, there, you know, there's going to be some consistency too. So if you're not in the area, definitely check that out. Be, make sure that you have uh, start developing a relationship and know what services are offered by your area agency on aging. Back to the fitness. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, fitness as sort of preventative care to prevent, you know, one of the things I'm always talking to folks about um, as you probably know, I have lots of clients that are dealing with very serious long-term care issues that, you know, a number of my clients probably will never be able to go home again. Some of them are even in nursing homes for the rest of their life. And so I often talk to seniors, active seniors, and they say, well, how do I make sure that doesn't happen to me? And I tongue in cheek, but it's not only, it's only partially tongue in cheek because it's actually very true, but it sounds funny is to say, well, if you want to avoid going to the nursing home, don't break your hip. Don't fall down the stairs. Don't slip on ice. Don't, you know, fall off the ladder reaching for the top shelf. You know, that's my advice for, uh, for the, you know, the best advice for staying out of a nursing home uh, for the rest of your life is, you know, get in front of it. Don't, you know, get, get the help you need before you think you need it kind of a thing. And I think this is probably true from an exercise standpoint, too that if you can sort of work on that balance and keep that balance, you have a much better chance of sort of preventing that next bad thing from happening. Yeah. um, So the preventative part is, um, you know, just keep it. If if there's a lot of truth behind, if you don't use it, you lose it. And, and it's so true. And we've had many testimonies from folks that have gone through our programs or are just our um, faithful, consistent ones, whether they've had it on the books to have their shoulder looked at or replaced. um, And maybe, you know, they went to go have their consult for it. And, you know, let's push this back. You're looking to be uh, a little bit stronger. The range of motion seems to be a little bit better. um, So keep doing what you're doing. And not to say that they won't have that shoulder surgery down the road, but right at that time, it was pushed back. Um, Same way with folks that do go through to have their knees replaced or even their hips done. Their recovery time, I've been told that uh, their recovery time is much quicker, if you will, uh, depending on the individual, because they were strong going in to the surgery. So, Yeah. yeah. 
Excellent point. Those are, those are excellent points. So um, how is your program? And I, you know, I, I probably could imagine or guess some ways, but why don't you just kind of share with us, how is it tailored to seniors versus just any other exercise program? How is this tailored to seniors? How is it tailored to, to, um, to the folks that you work with? Um, so my, the exercise programs that we provide um, we start off in the chair. They're, they're mostly chair exercises. And then we do standing. So I start off, we do our warm up uh, sitting in the chair. And I always encourage people, no, this is your own journey. You're here because you want to be here and, and to get yourself stronger. Um, and so I always tell folks, you know, don't feel that you have to keep up with me or your neighbor next to you. This is just geared towards you. And we start off sitting and then depending on the group, I kind of get a a little assessment and see what mobility folks are at. If I've got a lot of people that are coming in with their walkers, then Mm -hmm. of course I won't be standing as long or um, maybe we'll do more, more chair exercises. And also I try to inform people of how long we are standing because some people can't stand for like nothing like a minute or two minutes. And so if we've made it to five minutes standing, then I'll be be sure to give them, you know, Hey, give yourself a pat on the back. You've stood for five minutes and maybe you haven't been able to do that for a while. And then each week I try to increase that stand time. um, And overall their stamina certainly does increase too. Yeah. Very good. Great. What about, uh, we have a lot of our clients, uh, or at least, you know, someone in their family is dealing with someone with dementia or Alzheimer's. Do you feel like this would be appropriate for folks that are dealing with dementia or Alzheimer's? Could they still participate in a program like this? Yeah, so the um, arthritis exercise programs, I actually do have um, a couple of folks that have dementia that have been coming with their caregivers or loved ones. Now, it'll depend on where the person is at in the stage of the disease, of course, um, uh, because our classes are independent, meaning I am, I'm not sitting right next to the participants, depending mm-hmm. on, on the facility, I'm up on a podium, or I'm in the front of the room. So if they need more one-on-one assistance, then that might be something that we would need to talk about um, so that I would be aware of that for one. Um, but a lot of times a caregiver or the spouse is with their loved one with the disease mm-hmm. and that person that is attending, and I'm thinking of two gentlemen that have been attending, you know, th- you can see the joy on their face. Um, they're not, it's not, doesn't seem to be overwhelming for mm-hmm. them. And I think the routine brings them comfort to be there too. Yeah. Absolutely. And so the the caregiver is benefiting from, you know, having an outlet to be able to exercise and to socialize with others as well as as their person who has this disease is also benefiting from the same things. Excellent. So is there an enrollment that they need to do before they come? Do they just show up? What's the how do they enroll in this program? Yeah, so I would encourage them to call their local senior center. Um, to find out what days and what times the classes are. All of the centers provide a plethora of different activities for seniors. So knowing which center has what going on is very, very important. Um, And then uh, as far as registering for a class, the arthritis exercise class, um, uh, the door is open. People come and go. Some people will come and be consistent every whatever day of the week it is and others know, okay, I can attend for the month of March. So I'm going to try to get there every Tuesday in March. Um, But yeah, to call their local senior center. Also our website, uh, valleyareaaging.org has um, our programs and services on there. So you can kind of get an idea of what's being offered. Excellent. So thank you so much, Jennifer. So we've been here with Jennifer Joyner from Valley Area Agency on Aging, uh, a certified arthritis instructor and silver sneakers instructor. Uh, Jennifer, anything else you'd like to add that folks might want to know about uh, before we close up? 
Um, I think we've covered most of it. I, I look forward to if seeing whoever hears, hears this podcast. If they want to attend, then I welcome you. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, remember, everybody, that if you liked this podcast and want to hear more of them and want to know when the new ones come out, uh, feel free to subscribe on wherever you're listening. Uh, we're on all the podcast channels, YouTube, and on our website, which is mannerlawgroup.com. Thank you for listening, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>